Overview Hello everyone, and in this video, we'll be having a look at Puffin web browser on the Fire tablet, and this is particularly important when it comes to video playback. So, if you are interested, and I will advise you that you, you know, listen to this video playback that we will explain later on then you know please subscribe because we've also got more videos on their way and i'm sure you wouldn't want to miss out Super puffin. Screen curtain disabled. so puffin web browser is just named puffin after installation as opposed to puffin web browser prior and it would be nice if it was a consistent name throughout so it's more recognizable so you've got like a tutorial here. All connections are auto encrypted. All connections are auto encrypted. So the fact that it's got that security is is fairly good. The next icon is in the bottom right hand corner, which it's good it's in its common place because it makes it easy for screen reader users to get used to the app quickly. Site icon Facebook. So you got site icon site, Facebook. Site icon Yahoo search. Site icon Google. Site icon Yahoo search Google. Site However, icon what is annoying is it keeps saying site icon prior to saying the site you are focusing on. So site if I turn the volume up a little bit. Link. Site icon Wikipedia. Site icon LinkedIn. News feed Italian officials. Tell holiday. News feed CDC. And and it does the same for the news feed as well so it tells you you're focusing on the news feed but it keeps saying news feed before the article that you are focusing on and again that can be a little bit annoying if you are looking for a particular article so again that is that we're going to have a look in the menu now though what is unusual is you've got these tick boxes and I haven't really seen that in a browser before and you've also got a got these links but I'm not too sure whether that's a browser menu or whether that is a website link so we're going to click on one of those data savings on startup search website mouse theme down pop-ups block link and i think that is some settings here that you can bring up so it looks as though that these links are for the browser as opposed to a website but again it should really be buttons because that can be confusing search engine yahoo website preference mouse smart pointer mouse smart pointer Theme night download location on start data save zero data usage data usage heading data save on start search webs mouse themes download and location ask first the download location is ask first and you usually wouldn't have to specify the download location because all browsers know that the downloads go in, go in the downloads folder but in this case it seems to need that little bit of spoon feeding which is very unusual another thing which I've noticed is you've got the text scaling here and while that's not bad it should really be in an accessibility section because everything is in one you know big pile so it would be nice if that was reorganized a little and believe it or not that link takes you straight to these settings now let us try and have a look in the actual browser menu to see whether there was a new new tab ah so that seems to be the menu Checkbox not ticked. Reload original image disabled. Checkbox so got... not ticked. Add the home. Alright, let's have a look. So you got checkbox not ticked. Checkbox 
checkbox not ticked. So you got you keep getting these checkbox and everything seems to be in checkboxes as opposed to buttons and again that can be quite confusing as well and it can be a bit inconvenient for screen reader users because this screen reader is saying checkbox checkbox all the time so that needs reorganizing into buttons you got next page request desktop site Checkbox, not ticked. New incognito. Check, check. And I don't really see a previous page next to the next page, which is a bit odd, really, because they really should be next to each other, or in fact, they really should be at the address bar where you have your back and forward icon. So, search or type URL. Checkbox. Now I think another thing which has happened is you've got your address bar here but you've also got your menu which therefore tells us that it has become a part of the window that we are in and again it should be a dedicated window not merged with the Version 8.2 back button. They're not merged with the address bar. Unless we launch the. Oh, that really does seem. Okay, so we've managed to get back onto the home page and by going and clicking on the link in the left hand corner. So that therefore tells us that everything is into sections where you can swipe or whatever. But again, everything should be in a separate window when it comes to the settings or the menu. Search or type URL. L search or type URL. Link. Link. L search or type URL. And I think the search box actually is quite narrow and is quite close to the top. And while that may seem a small thing, with it being close to the top it can actually butt up on the status bar where you see your battery and notifications and also the address bar is narrow simply because you've got all these tick boxes now whether there are back and forward icons I'm not too sure but that search bar needs to be wider at the bottom and whether I'm not too sure whether you can see the icon that I'm focusing on but that needs to be moved somewhere else to enable those icons to move forward a bit which will in turn make the address bar longer now we're going to test video playback on this browser and this couldn't be more important especially on fire tablets because Amazon has always shipped their devices with Dolby technology and what you will find is when you play a video in the browser Link. Search you wouldn't get that Dolby sound which you get from your speakers as if you were playing it in the app so this is why we're testing browsers again and we'll also be playing it on Quest OD, we'll be playing a video on the Quest OD so we can sort of see how capable the video playback of this browser is. So Daily we'll mail. be watching Salvage Hunters. One thing which I've noticed is you don't really get a loading progress indication. Now or the site has loaded but after that the site has presented itself but after it has fully loaded 
and again it should be like chrome really What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut the video and then we'll be back with you. Alright, we're back with you now and unfortunately I can't really get the video to play simply because we've got a rod of checkboxes and again it really should be taking you to the site. But another thing which makes it worse is the checkboxes are not labelled with text, so that's another blunder. So unfortunately we're going to have to you know, leave the video playback out. If you do want a browser with good video playback, then you can either go for Opera, Be no, Opera Mini and the Opera Mini Beta browsers, as well as the Fast Browser and the Rocket Browser. They, those give you good video playback and good sound quality from the videos with Dolby Atmos. In conclusion, the Puffin web browser is a bit messy to be honest and for a number of reasons. First of all, it got quite a few checkboxes which are not really labelled and also the menu is instead of using buttons they use checkboxes which is not really ideal the news feed when you are scrolling through your articles it keeps saying news feed and news feed before saying the article that you are focusing on and overall I recommend that you go for the Firefox browser because that seems to be fairly good or the Opera browsers or the fast browsers if you want video playback in a browser okay well i hope you've found this video helpful thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and we'll see you soon